So you like to show PDFs inside of your .NET MAUI application, but you don't like paying for controls that can actually show them? I get that, I'm Dutch, I like free. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to show PDF files in your .NET MAUI application for absolutely free. Let's go check it out. Forever ago, when .NET MAUI was still Xamarin Forms, I wrote a blog post about how you can view PDF files inside of your Xamarin Forms application using a library called pdf.js. That's right, a JavaScript library inside of your cross-platform native application. It worked, and I'm going to show you how to do this for .NET MAUI. Um, but actually, the interesting thing is you only need that library for Android because Android is the only platform that does not have native support in its web view to actually show PDF files. For iOS, for Mac Catalyst, for Windows, you can just load a PDF file inside of your web view and it will show it that way. But for Android, you have to use that pdf.js library. We're going to see all about it in this video. There's a couple of things that are very good to know, so make sure that you stick around until the end um, for all the details that might bite you, be aware. Um, and let's just hop over to Visual Studio and have a look. Let's first get that pdf.js library so that I don't have to switch around between the browser and Visual Studio. Um, if you just use your favorite search engine, search for pdf.js, it will pop right up. It's developed by Mozilla, and you can just click the download button and get the latest version here. It will download a zip, and I'll show you where to put it in a minute. Um, but if you go back, uh, there's two things I want to note here. One, this is licensed under the Apache license. Make sure that you know what that means and that you, um, inside of your app, mention it accordingly if that's what you needed and um, provide the license and that kind of stuff. Make sure that you um, um, uphold that license. The other thing is for Android, um, there is under API 30, you will need to use a specific version, else things will break. It will not work. I will go into that in a little bit. Um, but you can download all the releases by going to the GitHub project, then here under releases and you probably want to have um, the one that's not version 4 so if we scroll down here you have version um, 3 and you probably want to use that one um, because as of version 4 it will use mjs files which is kind of like modular javascript i'm not too familiar with javascript but that breaks if you're using uh, less than api 30 on android i will mention that a little bit later on but now you know where to get it get that specific version there might be another way to fix it please educate me let me know down in the comments if I'm totally overlooking something, um, but I could make it work but to download an older version. Otherwise, just download the latest stable version 4.0.379, download it, get the zip file, and now go into Visual Studio. So let's do that. I created a new .NET MAUI project right here. Um, did not change a thing. I copied the files in here so I don't show you how to download a file. I assume that you know how to do that. Um, and then inside of the resources, you have this raw folder. Just create a little folder, pdf.js. Can be anything, but just keep it short and simple. And then inside of that, you will um, 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 unzip the contents of that pdf.js library that was in there. So that's that build folder, the web folder, the license full, uh, uh, file. So you have have all of that in here. One extra thing that it did as well is have this my PDF dot PDF file in here um, so that I can show you something, some PDF file. So I added that in this raw folder and then it's just inside of your app available for use inside of your .NET MAUI app. Didn't change anything else. Um, so now I'm going to actually add some UI and show this to you. So I'm going to remove this default template stuff here, this scroll view, we don't need any of that. Um, Let's just create a grid here, which has like a vertical options of fill and expand so that it, you know, fills and expands um, because the web view is not great with, with sizing by default. So we need to put that inside of a grid so it will kind of like fill our screen. Let's do the same thing for horizontal, fill and expand, and we got that all right. And the only thing I'm going to do in here is just use a web view from um, Donet Maui, nothing special. Um, if you want to learn how to wrap this inside of like a reusable control for you that you can use in, in other projects as well, let me know down in the comments. I will make a follow-up video on how to wrap this in a reusable component. Um, and here I want to give this an X name because I'm going to reference it by code and let's just call this PDF view. And in here I'm going to also say vertical options is fill and expand and horizontal options fill and expand. So that shows up nicely across the entire screen. Uh, maybe in my grid I want to have a little margin right here of 10 so that it has a nice little border around it and it doesn't go edge to edge, but totally up to you how you want to style this. Um, and that's actually all we need. Let's add some line breaks here so that we don't need to scroll all these things right here. So a couple of those things right there. So we have it all in one page. Okay, 
So let's go to our code behind. And because here now we have some default code, this is not going to work anymore. And let's remove that. Let's remove this one. And now for Windows and iOS, um, for iOS, you're going to have to trust me. I can run this on iOS, but I'm not going to switch around. Just download the code, run it on a Mac. You will see. Um, but you can just do PDF view dot source. Was it? Yes, yeah, source. And then I can say, hey, that oh, is, sorry, is um, my PDF dot dot PDF. And that's going to be it. So if I switch to Windows right now, it's going to load that web view, and that's going to be a web view two because that's what it's called. So basically, the thing that Edge uses as well, and it can just load that PDF. It will have a couple of default of controls. You can print it. You can do a couple of things with that, which is crazy cool. On iOS, same thing. You can zoom it. Uh, you can do a couple of things with it. Um, just the default plane showing a PDF. That's what most people will probably be really happy with, um, and that's just built into the browser of these platforms. So you can just use that. Um, build it, show it in a simple web view, and you have a free PDF control um, to use. On Android, a little bit more effort, but we'll see that in a second. Here we go. On Windows, our app is deploying. So let's see what that brings us. We should see a Windows window coming up. And then inside of that, our web view will be loaded. And you can see this PDF, which, well, that's a funny coincidence. Uh, maybe you have some channel that you want to subscribe to. You're thinking like, oh, I'm on YouTube. Let's just subscribe to that channel. Do it right now with the button down below and um, I will be very happy and grateful if you do. So here we see this PDF viewer free for you to use. It um, um, resizes nicely together with the windows. So you can do all of that. If there's multiple pages, you can do all these things. Um, you have this index, table of contents, print, save, do whatever. Super crazy cool. On Windows, just works. On iOS, just works. For Android, does not work. Um, for Android, we need to do a little bit of complicated stuff. Um, that's actually where the PDF.js comes in. If you do this on Android, it's not going to um, work. It will just show a blank thing. So let me just um, select this in the emulator here. Um, I can actually start running while I'm talking about this. It will just come up with the application and not show anything because that's just not built into um, the Chromium web view that is being used inside of Android. So what we need to do is use that PDF.js library that actually has all kinds of JavaScript code to render PDF files. And that's what we're going to use. Now, the basics kind of is, is that we say, hey, um, I want to have this PDF kind of viewer thing. And that's what I'm going to load it in. So I have this, I, I copy this is from uh, a, something off screen here, PDF view dot source. And now you're going to say, hey, file Android assets, PDF JS web view. So this is kind of like, you know, you just have to know this. And then PDF JS, that's the folder that I just unzipped everything in, right? Under that, there was a web under that there was a viewer dot HTML. Let's check if that checks out. So we have this raw, that's where we kind of begin PDF JS web, and then we have this viewer dot HTML. So that all checks out. And that is what we're going to feed. This can you provide with a parameter with like, hey, this file um, with my PDF dot PDF, um, you have to URL encode it for it to kind of like get picked up correctly so that you know that there's nothing funny going on in here. Um, you can do that manually if that's what you want. And now we can load this thing in here. Um, but Android wouldn't be Android if you needed more code than this, um, because it also has a couple of extra security layers that you need to enable in order to allow loading files from the local file system. So again, I'm going to bring in a little bit of code, it's actually commented. So let me just bring in here because .NET MAUI has this amazing concept of custom handlers and mappers, right? So what we can just do is uncomment this. And now I can say, hey, MAUI handlers, web view handler, mapper, append to mapping. This can be whatever. It's just a key in the dictionary. Web view, let's call this PDF viewer, um, something like that doesn't really matter. And here you can then invoke the code that you want to do. Now this doesn't work because I'm on Windows here. So this this drop down um, selects what context you're programming in. So if I want to go to Android, then it's going to pick this up. Um, and then it, it, it gives me the IntelliSense and everything. But now I was on Windows, so it wasn't uh, working. And I can set hey, platform view, which is the web view on Android dot settings. So this is the web settings, uh, which is apparently a thing in Android. And then we have allow file access and set that to true. Allow file access from file URLs, true, because we're doing this file thing, right? So we need to allow that. Allow universal access from file URLs, true. All things we need to make this 
work on Android. Now, um, I've been running this in the background. You can see totally blank. Um, so I've got nothing up my sleeve. See, I'm seeing my, like a magician. I'm trying to prove that uh, I'm doing no tricks here. Um, so with that in place, you need to now differentiate between the different platforms, right? So we need to do if Android, we're going to actually do this. And then else if we're going to do the regular thing that I just did, right? For all the other platforms, it just works. So now we got all this in place. Invalid preprocessor? No, I think I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. We'll see. I'm gonna take my chances. Um, so we have all this, and with this all in place, let's just run it again on the Android emulator. Let's see if this build error is actually a build error, or oh, it is actually a build uh, build error. So what is this then? L if. That's the right thing. Oh, LF, right. I'm not doing any conditions. Okay, well, you just saw me live witness here. Um, blah, 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 mind gobble up. Okay, else, there we go. That's what I wanted. And now we can actually compile this code. See, I made mistakes too. Um, so we're going to do else. And now for Android, it's going to do all of this, this um, custom mapper. It's going to allow all of this in our settings. And then it's going to actually load through the PDFJS library, this um, little Android asset thing. So let's see if that actually comes up. My application is deploying. It's going to show up here and here we go. You can see the PDF GS loader um, thingy going on. And also here, a set of default controls, one pages. Um, you can print it. You can do all these kinds of things. Um, but I don't even know. I didn't check it out. And again, you want to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, also on Android. So see, you have this free basic PDF player, um, PDF viewer here inside of your application that you can use. Obviously, if you want to use this on iOS and Windows as well, you're totally free to do that. You'll probably have to figure out like what's the right uh, format for this URL right here, but you can totally do that as well if that's what you want. Now, one other thing I know I can always, always sense that what is going to be the questions in the comments, how can I do this for an external PDF? Um, so b b truth be told, I didn't really try it for all the platforms, um, but for Android, there is one thing that you need to take into account with this library because this is going to block kind of like through the cross origin policy, you no know, requests, I don't know, the course, you know what I mean, right? Um, there is something built in that it won't just allow loads from any um, external URL. So what you kind of want to do is go into this um, viewer.mgs, I think, and there's going to be a line somewhere very much down below file origin, I think it's called. No, yes, no, wait, there it was. And you have to comment out this little thing. Wait, let me find here in current document. There we go. Um, here duo. So you want to comment out kind of like this line. There we go. Now on line 3482. Um, but you want to find kind of like this thing, which is very hacky. Um, but this will allow you to load from any um, origin, from any URL, a external PDF. This is kind of like built in as a security, but you can and disable it this way if that's what you want. Um, or you can download the PDF first to your local device and then show it. So there's a couple of ways around that, um, which you want to do. Now, the other thing I mentioned for like Android API uh, less than 30 is it uses MJS files. Again, I'm not super familiar with JavaScript and all these things, um, but this has been introduced for the PDF the JS library as of version four, it seems. So if you're using an older version, version three, you should be good. Um, or just make sure that you are using Android um, more than API 30. There is some kind of like MIME type that's not being filled for these requests on Android uh, on less than API 30 and MGS, it doesn't understand it. So there might be a better way to fix it. Please let me know down in the comments, but that is what I found while I was preparing this demo. So that is a couple of things that are good to know. Um, but otherwise you now have this free PDF viewer inside of your .NET Maui app. So what do you think? Is this an acceptable solution for you to show PDF files for absolutely free inside of your .NET Maui application? Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. I'll be honest, I always feel a little bit yuck whenever I have to resort to a web view and web solutions inside of a native platform application. Um, but you know, if you do not want to pay for controls, if you just want to try things out first and get started, then this might be a great solution for you. There's a couple of things to consider. I already mentioned like the API level, make sure that you check that one. Um, the differences between the different platforms, maybe you want to do this in a reusable control. Let me know down in the comments and I'll explore that in a next video. Also the PDF 
gift.js library is like four megabytes. So, you know, you're adding four megabytes inside of your application. You might want to check out how to only do that for Android because we're only using it there. So all kinds of things to consider. Again, very curious for your thoughts. Let me know down in the comments and I'll be seeing you for my next video, which might be this one. See you there.